Today's video is brought to you by DistroKid. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the Artoria Keylab MK2. to get better at this unboxing lock. I don't even have a knife. It's a key. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you want to learn all about music tech and looping, start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. So why have I chosen the Artoria Keylab 49 Mark II for my studio setup? First and foremost, it has all the buttons and levels I think I'll ever need, with 49 keys, 16 pads, and eight faders. It has multiple controls for both in and out, for both MIDI and CV, but the really clever part is how it integrates with different doors, digital audio workstations. So you can actually have it integrating with Cubase or with Ableton, or for me, it's gonna be Logic. But at the same time, I wanted something that I could use with my iPad. I wanna integrate this into two systems. One is my iMac with Logic, that's quite a normal system. The second system is the iPad and I want to see how it integrates and how it works with iPad OS. We may even get a chance to see how it works with the iPhone. There's thousands of music making apps out there for both iPad OS, iOS and Mac OS and I want to see how this keyboard integrates with all of them. There's some really clever things that you can do with the 16 pads. They're not just for drums, they're also for chords and for chord memory. And of course Autoria's own system called Analog Lab. I want to take a dive into that and see how that works and how well the keyboard integrates with that. Now I do have a 61 note keyboard, which is the Roland Juno DI. I've had that for quite a while. And this one is a 49 note keyboard. The reason for that is so it fits on my desk. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by DistroKid. DistroKid is the number one solution for you sending all your music out to all the different streaming sites and online stores for one price per year. You can get all your music to Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Amazon Music, Pandora, and lots more for just $19.99 per year. DistroKid has loads of cool features. It's got things like HyperFollow. HyperFollow is where you can send your fans to one dedicated page per release, and then they can select their streaming music service of choice to listen to your music. Another great option is lyrics and sync lyrics. People love finding out what the lyrics are to tunes. Maybe they want to sing along. With the lyrics section in DistroKid, you can select the song and then just add the lyrics straight in. And then with the sync lyrics, you can actually choose the timing of when those lyrics appear on the screen. That's pretty cool. All these features are at no additional cost to your annual subscription. So with the special link that myself and DistroKid have set up, we're going to give you an extra 7% off your first year's annual membership. Click the link. Start saving and start distributing your music. So here it is, it fits on the desk and it fits really well. 49 keys, it does come in a 61 key version. A couple of things, first of all, it's a lot heavier than I expected and that's probably because it's actually made of metal. We've become used to plastic keyboards, uh, certainly MIDI controllers, and this is metal and this is wood. Uh, the controllers are metal, so the mod and the pitch, they're metal as well. These controller knobs are really smooth, uh, the faders are smooth, and then the pads, spongy, but not too soft, and they've also got RGB lights that you can recolor if you want to. But let's just talk about the keys themselves. Semi-weighted Profeel keybed. Artoria's Profeel keys are actually on their flagship keyboards. Those keyboards are a couple of grand and they feel fantastic, semi-weighted, really, really nice action, and I can't wait to start getting to use it. You can tell Artoria have taken note about having a pro build, so something about this just makes you scream 
pro build. It just feels fantastic and you just want to play with it. I've gone for the 49 note version for the size. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything from this because of the full size keys. The 16 pads, as I've said before, are not just for drums. You can use things like for pads, chord memory and chord transpose. You've got a door command user center here, which they come with these. These are the track control information for all the different doors. So what you can do is let me find my one, the Logic, there we go. So it's got all the right controls there and it comes with little magnets. So this one is Logic, that's the one I need. So if I place that on top, now it's got the right controls on the right buttons. You've got the transport system here, so you've got play, pause, record, go back. In the center, you've got the main LCD panel with the selected knob, which is also dialable. And right here, you've got three buttons. You've got analog lab, door and user. Analog Lab is Autoria's software which can be used directly for this into any door. We've got Next and Previous and we've got Bank which also double up as part one, part two and live. You've got nine controllers. You've, I know I said eight before but it's eight controllers and one master and you can even re-control the master if you want to and nine control knobs. So a heavier keyboard with pro keys and lots of control where I wanted to go with this keyboard. Like you, I research and have a look online, on YouTube, look at reviews, people who've actually posted stuff up to find out what is the best tech for me. And for me, this looks like it's gonna be an absolute stonker. Now this came out in 2018 and it's now 2020, but the Mark II has actually held its own against loads of other keyboards that have come out after it. And it's still one of the best keyboards, I think, for MIDI controlling for your digital audio workstation. The high quality keys, the 16 pads, the controller effects, to be able to control my door, integrate straight in. There's things like mute, solo, save, in, out, read, write. Things I just don't have on another MIDI controller keyboard. So the first thing I would do after unboxing it and having a feel and a play is getting into place booting it up and making sure it's on the latest firmware. Now when you get a key lab you need to register it and then you can download Artoria Software Center. That's where Artoria store all their keyboards that you can download for the software side and also for the firmware side to make sure this is up to date. So that's the key lab mark two. What do you think? It's an impressive piece of kit isn't it? I want to actually do a couple of videos to show the integration between different systems. It's bundled with quite a bit of software so I want to do a video or two on that as well so stay tuned for those videos coming soon. I just want to give a quick shout out to our subscribers. At the point of recording this video, we have just this morning gone over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, it means the world to me. I can't believe it. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed and you're looking at a couple of my videos, then please consider subscribing. Hit that bell and then you'll know when the next video comes out. And then if you want to support me a little bit further, you can do by buying me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.